Hey, welcome back, Knife Nerds and Everyday Care people. It's your boy, the Big Connector here, and uh, hey, I'm sorry on this one, you don't get to see my fantastic, fabulous face uh, because I have to use my my good old cell phone for this particular uh, uh, little video here. And uh, what I want to do is I want to kind of compare this key bar against the old Key Smart Pro here, and. Uh, I've been wanting to get a key bar forever, ever since I, you know, I started the EDC world and I first saw one, and they just were crazy pricey, and I just couldn't bring myself to do it. But I ended up picking up this Key Smart from uh, actually Mass Drop Canada a long time ago, and it was really quite inexpensive. Um, uh, back in the day, I think I ended up picking this up for somewhere around thirty nine ninety nine, and Canadian nonetheless. Now, if you look at these right now. In uh, US they are $59.95 and um, this particular key bar here is uh, $39.95 because it is the uh, aluminum one and then I actually added this little tile system it's a tile mate I put it because I love the idea of being able to if I lose my keys being able to find them and believe me I do lose my keys and this one here is about $17.99 so I don't know what that is so you put those together so $17.99 on sale and $39.95 so that's basically $57 to $59.95 and that gets you kind of the same general price uh, point uh, together so Let's kind of go over the things I like about each one of them, the things I don't, and um, which one I'm going to, you know, keep for the rest of my life until I turn 96 years old. And by that time, there'll be no more keys. It'll just be put your finger and touch it or something or, or, or command computer, open the door. Or hopefully by then we'll have Star Trek worlds where we don't have to worry about locking up anything. Everybody's got enough to eat, a good place to live, food their belly. And we're off to the stars. That's that's my dream. Sorry about that. Just drinking my decaf coffee. Okay, so let's go with the, let's start off with the key smart. We'll put that off to the side. How this and we'll just give it an idea. This is how this works because this is a really big selling point on this key smart um, pro. Uh, it has the tile app built in it, and basically what that does is it just allows you to find your keys with an app that is on your phone. And as you can see here, it's just a simple little app. It says, find my keys, uh, hold on for a second, and there you go. Done, it found it. Now, the other thing that these uh, can do too, as well as far as the key smart, is it allows you to find your phone. Now, it's actually what you're supposed to be able to do is just push this little tiny tile app in here, and then your phone goes off. And so if you've lost your phone and you have your tile, I think that that's crazy, crazy handy. All right. Now, uh, it also comes with a little light. Uh, so those are the real, like a real like, good bonuses of just having this, this particular system. Now, some of the things I dislike about this is it doesn't seem like it's crazy robust. This one here is plastic. I know that there are ones out there or a composite or whatever it is. I know there's ones out there that are aluminum. You know, it's light enough, but you've got your, your tile side here is quite a bit thicker than your other side. And uh, just your regular kind of screw side is really kind of flimsy and flexible. I mean, not that, I, you know, I think that you're going to be using these keys for, uh, you know, opening up... Uh, you know, cans of tuna or nothing like that with this key smart thing. But I think you want something to be a little bit tougher than, you know, when it gets bendable, it seems to kind of, I don't know, just doesn't seem to really give you a lot of confidence in the thing. You know, if, if you happen to have this in your, in your back pocket for some reason, you sit on it, are you going to snap it? Uh, the other thing here is this one does come with a spot here for, to attach other keys to it. And it also comes with a bottle opener. And the bottle opener is functional. I, I mean, uh, it allows you to get in there. And I, and I haven't used a cap lifter or bottle opener for such a long time. I'm actually one of those guys who knows how to open up a beer bottle without twisting. Um, you know, I don't need a I don't need a cap lifter to open up a beer bottle. I can use my hands. I can use my shoe. I can use fifty different ways. A lighter. Uh, I can I can open up a beer. And, uh, you know, that's just from a product of a misspent youth. 
right? So I, but you know, and then you've got here the little flashlight. I okay, the flashlight is okay. Uh, it's not crazy bright. Uh, I've used it once to get in my lock there, and I just couldn't see. But you know, it is nice that if you have your lock here and you shine your light, it's ready to, you know, it's right where your key is. So you know, it does work. But if you've got the other, the lock on the other side, and your light does you no good, so yeah. I think I would probably do without the light to get longer recharge because that's one thing about this key smart here is a rechargeable there's a usb uh micro usb uh adapter inside there and it, it needs to be recharged they say about every three months or so and i do notice that if this is in my pocket or in my bag it's getting constantly hit you know this light stays on and i have noticed that there have been times when the thing is absolutely dead and I can't find it or I can't use a light and it's there's no real warning there's no little beeping that tells you hey your, your thing's about to die uh, there's no there's no bar that says oh what battery level you're at so you're either working it fine or it's, it's or it's not and, and if it's not working and you lose your keys well then you're you're SOL you're hooped you're out of luck and I and I dislike that intensely I, I, I wish that they either had something like this little tile mate here which has got a replaceable battery in it and they say that this battery will last you a year all right when it doesn't working pop a new battery in there it's a it's a CR I think it's a 2032 battery in there and if you pop that in there then you are um, good for another year so I like that idea way better um, now you are able to support up to 14 keys in here and it's you know it's i don't know where they get that from uh it's will be awfully tough to put 14 keys in here they'd have to be all pretty much the exact same keys no i know about you but with me most of my keys are are kind of different i've got my my camper keys on here and i've got some little small keys in there and i just wanted to kind of put some keys in here not to just because it's just sitting in my drawer and I thought what the hell I'm gonna put some more other keys in there so I use my camper keys to go in there and they don't fit in there perfectly but hey I've only got two I've only got four keys in there right now but if I lose these well then I'm a SOL to get into my camper and I, and I don't like that so uh, yeah um, it's it's okay uh, the size here I mean they say that when you actually got your keys they kind of go along to the side like this and i just am not a you know i like the fact if they're hidden then that's even better but um 14 keys is a real stretch for this and I, the tile does come in handy i have lost my keys especially when i'm leaving the house and i can't find my keys i use the tile up and i hear it go off and it is you know it does it is something that is really, really important to me there have been times where i've lost my keys and the thing has died and I didn't notice it and I couldn't use the tile app to find my keys and it really really was uh, a strong strong uh, negative for that all right so let's put that aside so now here we have got the old key bar here now uh, the key bar here their their big thing here is stop the noise all right so uh, the key bar comes with 15 stainless steel uh, washers. It also comes with three different separate sizes of uh, your uh, uh, screws. Where that's the other thing here. The um, key smart only comes with one set, and inside there, there's your kind of your deep reset. So if you don't need as many keys, you just basically screw it right into into it more, and so. It, it's not really supposed to poke out the end I suppose if you had no keys in there it would kind of poke out the end so only two uh, two screws with that one all right this one also comes with a clip if you don't want to uh, carry them in your pocket loosely you can clip them inside your pocket which is really really nice and, and I like this tile part here so much that I went out and got just a tile mate just to have with this because if I lose my keys uh, I just basically again use the little app and she's good to go so just we'll just try that keys oh see there we go find and uh, <laughs> you can program these for the sounds and uh, I put jingle bells on this just because it is Christmas time right now and I just thought I'd do that and you can use this also to find your keys here there we go. 
or to find your wallet. But uh, let's go down to the key bar. So this key bar here comes in multitude of colors, flavors. Um, let me know. Oh, and this one here does come in too. This also comes in different colors too as well. And it also come in an aluminum version without any of the tile features whatsoever. So it's just a straight key organizer. And it is uh, without the, the tile app, I do believe it is around $29 or so. But don't quote me on that. I should have a look at that uh, key smart too as well um so i mean uh, i will try to find out and i'll try to leave the uh what the regular old key smart price is in the description rather than kind of hold you up here all right here's so here here we go the key bar i seem to like this design a little bit better it is a, a little bit thicker here too as well and um it just seems like it's a little bit more robust too i mean you can't squish that and uh, here, what I ended up doing is I took all the washers and I took some also some uh, nylon washers from other uh, products just to be able to have my keys try to fit completely under there. I know that if the longer ones here, like because I've got this one here, which is a real long one right here. So that one here will fit just about to the end. So I, I don't really like it sticking out a little bit because, I, you know, the next large key like that is my house key. And my house key is this bugger right here, which is like a guitar. So it's, they're two different types of, of uh, keys. I mean, if they were both, maybe the same key, I could kind of fit one in there and the other one slotted, you know, but I, I like to try to build my key smarts where the, the keys uh, or the key holders where they mesh over top like that. So they're completely hidden. So, and therefore I use lots of the washers. So like I said, this one comes with three um, different screws and 15 stainless steel washers. Uh, it does come with also a little holder too as well, but you can get a multitude of tools with this uh, and a multitude of flavors. You can get these in aluminum, you can get these in micarta, you can get these in titanium, you can get them with titanium with designs on them. Um, oh. I mean, it is, there's limited edition ones. Not only can you get um, different colors here, you can get all sorts of tools that fit inside here too as well. Uh, including like little pry bars that'll fit in there, tweezers. Uh, you can get these little key nut things that are just like a magnetic uh, thing that goes, that allows you to, um, it's got neodymium magnets in it. So if you've got this attached to your belt, you can always pop it off if you want but it's still very very secure you've got little scrapers you can got cap lifters uh you've got screwdriver ends in here uh you have got a multitude multitude of tools that will fit inside there including like little um like little even a little knife a little everyday carry i mean if you had two keys on here so you had uh, a car key a house key and you wanted to fill this up full of everyday carry tools, you could do that. And then there's your everyday carry, your knife, you could put in there, your couple of screwdrivers, all sorts of things, and you can fit them in here. Now they say that you can fit up to 12 keys in here. And then again, they're stretching it too as well. All right. So uh, the one thing I did put inside here though, which I thought is ever so neat, is I ended up putting inside a set of tweezers. And these are excellent excellent tweezers and they just fit inside there they lock into place and i don't have to worry about them i have a set of tweezers and then that just gets tucked inside my key bar now i do if we we're talking just the key smart to the key bar i mean i still think i'm gonna i would go over the key bar i i just think it is that much more functional with the extra tools that you can get i like the way that it is more robust um and then in order for me to add this tile, it was, you know, $17 on sale. So not a huge amount of money. And it doesn't really add a whole lot of weight or size to it. It's a little bit annoying that it hangs on. And I was thinking there might be some way I would take this tile thing. And, you know, I, I was hoping to kind of look inside this tile and perhaps I could even take it and mount it inside there. It just got to be too little too much of a hassle. I got too many keys. So I just stuck it on the outside. and. In order to find my lost keys, to me, this having it hanging on the outside is a, that's a small price to pay if you're gonna lose your keys. Um, <clears throat> I also think that the key bar here, this this little uh, um, 
you, this is removable too. You don't necessarily have to have this on there, but I like the idea of having that little clip on there. And I like the idea of having all sorts of extra tools that you can put in here. And I like the idea of this being more robust. And the other thing is too, is when you're putting this together, it seems like it's got a set of Chicago uh, screws in there. And if you're not familiar with a Chicago screw, is it's got two posts, but one screws into the other one. So it screws in like this, right? And so that's, that's a round post. The one side here on this is 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 quite um, it's quite a big diameter, and there was a few of the keys in here that I had to bore out, or I had to switch the keys around because they wouldn't fit over top of that female end of that Chicago screw. Uh, whereas this one is one set of uh, this is a quarter inch thread, I do believe, or even a three sixteenths, but it's a very small diameter. Uh, screw it fit through every single key that I wanted it to I had no issues with there whatsoever And it's the same diameter from this end to that end and where this one here is it's like halfway through It's a larger diameter and then it goes to a smaller diameter So that's a little bit more of a, a pain in the butt with that. That's that's another reason. I think I would rather choose the key bar and uh, <clears throat> Yeah, so That is uh, my take on uh, key bar versus key smart even with the pro item, I think that you're better off getting a key bar and adding a tile to have that functionality. Uh, I think, you know, if you want, I am almost positive that there's a little tiny light that you can bring inside here. If you want to have a flashlight, if you don't already carry a flashlight, like I, uh, I always carry a flashlight with me no matter what. So if I'm stuck at nighttime, I've got a flashlight and I don't need to have them inside my keys. So. If you like what you saw, I really, really want you guys to give me a thumbs up as well as please, please keep yourself safe. Now, a couple of shout outs here I want to give before the uh, before we finish things up. Uh, Jake over at Canadian Cutting Edge. Hope you're feeling better, buddy. He ended up uh, getting some surgery there. He's going to be out out for a bit. Uh, I just want to make sure that you're feeling, buddy, Betty. Uh, you're feeling better, buddy. My thoughts and prayers are going out to you. I also want to say thanks to the boys out at Alberta Firearms, uh, Stephen and Matt. They have looked after me tremendously. So don't forget, we've got those. Um, uh, we've got the Spyderco store there. You got a Boker if you're looking for a Boker, and of course they've got the um, uh, uh, Andrew Demco knives that are, should be arriving any day now. Once I get one, it's going on the channel. But don't forget to talk to the boys at Alberta Firearms. Give them a call. Uh, 403-553-4642. Ask for Matt or ask for Steven. And they'll be more than happy to look after you. All right. And they do have a website that's coming soon. So we'll have their directions there in the... Uh, I will have their information down inside of the description. So please keep your stick on the ice to shine the side up. This is Big Conducker saying adios. <laughs>